Lois and I'm an artist at Ignite Imaginations and today's video is in partnership with Sheffield Healthy Holidays and Mask and I'm going to show you how you can make your very own little birdhouse. So here we go. To make your birdhouse you're going to need all the materials that are in your craft pack. So that's the birdhouse, a stamp, some paints, a paintbrush, a pencil, and the bag which has some bird feed in. It would also be useful if you can grab some bits of tissue and a little bit of water from home as well. If you don't have the craft pack and you'd still like to get involved, you can easily find these materials online. So here's my example, and now I'm gonna show you step by step how you can create something similar using your own birdhouse. So take your birdhouse and a pencil and first we're going to draw on some designs that we would like to draw on our birdhouse. So if I drew some things that I was inspired by from nature. So I've got some flowers and some leaves and a big flower. I also drew some grass on here. So maybe have a look outside your window and see what you can see in the nature and what you would like to draw. So I'm gonna do, I think, some more flowers. I did some nice big red flowers on this one, but I guess it depends what colour paints you have. It will depend on what colour colours you use on your birdhouse. Now the good thing about using the pencil is if you make a mistake, you've got a rubber on the end, so you can just rub it out and you will be fine. So I'll draw another flower here. And then maybe think about what you want to draw on the sides. I'll do, I might do a caterpillar. Draw a caterpillar. Then we've got the back here. So what did I draw on the back? I drew a giant flower on the back here, but I might draw something different this time. I might draw a big leaf. Okay, and then draw something on the side here. What should I draw? What did I draw before? So, I drew some leaves and swirls. So maybe this time I'll try something different and I'll draw a tree. So, looking out the window, see what inspires you and draw something on each side of your birdhouse. I'd leave these the roof free for now because we'll come to that in a minute. So your first job draw something nature inspired on each side of your birdhouse. Now that my dog has decided to stop snoring, sorry if you heard him in the earlier video, we're going to move on to the next stage. So we're going to get our paints. So for this you'll need your paints and your paintbrush and some tissue and also a little bit of water. So you're going to take the lid off each of your paints Now you'll see on most of the paints has this film then on them that you need to come off so you can get back to the paint. So they're quite hard to get off. So what I'd recommend is you might need an adult to help. Pierce with your pencil, pierce a hole in and then you can rip it off. And it gets quite messy as you can see. So this is when you'll need your tissue just to keep your fingers clean. So use your tissue. And again on the pink one, pierce with the pencil. Again, get an adult to help you. And then you can hopefully pull it off. It is tricky. There we go. And again, I've got quite messy, so I'm gonna use the tissue. Now you're gonna need a little water pot to wash your paintbrush in. 
So I'm going to use one of the lids as a paint as a water pot. So take one of these and just fill it with a little bit of water. And then you can use that to clean out your paintbrush. Now it's time to start painting. So I'm going to start by painting my flowers and I think I would like a pink flower. Can you think of any pink flowers in nature? We're going to paint that nice and pink. I'm going to clean out my paintbrush using the water and then I'm going to use my bit of tissue to clean my paintbrush. Let's go for a bit more pink paint. Now then, I think I'm going to clean out my paintbrush again. And I might also draw a bit of, I'll draw the, the stems of the, using this green. Put my example down so you can see that one too. Okay, so now let's move to one of the sides. Oh, I've got a caterpillar. So which colours here do you think I should use for the caterpillar? I do think maybe green might be best. So let's try the green. Have you ever seen a pink or a purple caterpillar? Maybe yours could be a multicoloured caterpillar. A magical caterpillar. So again, I'm washing out my paintbrush, drying it on the tissue. What else could I add with the caterpillar? Maybe some raindrops. I'll use the purple to make some rain. Maybe he's fallen in a puddle. Oh no, poor caterpillar. Soggy caterpillar. So here we go, I've drawn a Draw on a puddle. Okay, now let's move on to the back and I've got my big leaf. So I'm going to wash out my paintbrush. Now I could use green, but I think I might make it a magical leaf. So maybe I'm going to make it purple. What's nice about painting is you can mix the colours as well and see what colours you can make. And you can also, if you don't, if you paint something and you don't like it, you can always leave it to dry and then come back and just paint over it with a different colour. Clean that out. Now I might add a bit of texture to my purple leaf with the green. So I'm going to mix the colours and see what happens. Oh look, you can still see the green on top. And then maybe I will make some smaller green leaves here. So you don't have to draw everything with pencil. There might just be some bits that you just want to draw just freehand without the pencil. Just see where your creativity takes you. Then what have we got on this side? Oh, we've got the tree. Now I might make this a cherry blossom tree. So it might actually be a bit of a pink tree back on the pink. Cherry blossom trees are one of my favourites and they're in bloom at the moment so hopefully you've been seeing lots of blossom trees out on your walks. Okay now I haven't got a brown here for the tree trunk so I'm going to have to use a colour that wouldn't normally be the colour of a tree trunk but that's okay and I think to stick with the magical theme it might be a purple tree trunk and maybe a big puddle on the floor and then I'll clean out my paintbrush so you're going to now have something on every side of your birdhouse but yet we still haven't got anything on the roof. Now this is when you can use 
your stamps. They will fit just the right size on the roof. And how we use our stamp is you pick a colour and then you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to paint all over the stamp, cover it all up. Now I'm just going to do one colour but you might decide to do it different colours, it's completely up to you. This one. And in the middle. Okay, so I've got paint all over my, my stamp. And then I'm gonna take the roof of the birdhouse, put the stamp on, squash it down, press hard, press it all over. And there we go, I've got a butterfly on my roof. I'm gonna do the same on here now. You see, I did the same on my example as well. So, I am going to get the purple again, paint all over. Okay, and we're gonna do it again on the other side. Push down, push all over. Nice and strong. And take it off. And there we go. You've got a stamp on both of your sides of your roof. So then you can start having a look and see what else you'd like to paint. Maybe you want to leave it as it is, or maybe you want to cover it all. Like here, I painted all the background bit blue as well, so you couldn't see much of the wood. So yeah, get creative and have fun. When you're finished, be sure to clean out your paintbrush and then dry it off again. Now what we need to do is, you might need to leave it a dry just a little bit, but I'm gonna go straight for it. Take your bird seed, the bag with the bird seed in, and then you're gonna pour it into the hole just there. Pour it all in. And we're going to then feed this to the birds. So yeah, get it all in. And then when it's dry, we're going to take it outside and find somewhere to put it. So when you've finished your creation, you can bring it outside and put it somewhere where you think the birds will visit. So I'm going to put mine in this bush because I get a lot of birds in here. So fingers crossed. So here's my snoring dog Barker. I'm gonna keep a look out the window and see if any birds come to our bird house. Have we got any yet Barker? Any come? Oh, not yet. Keep looking mister. We've been waiting for a while now and we've still not seen any, but I'm sure some will come later. Barker, on the other hand, he's decided to give up and just have a snooze. Fingers crossed you see lots of lovely birds in your garden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now don't forget, if you have any photos of your creations, you can share them online using the hashtag Sheffield Healthy Holidays. And you can also check out Sheffield Healthy Holidays and Ignite Imaginations websites for lots more craft activities. Thanks. Bye.